was a bed. Like, there was a lot of weird shit that I didn't even know. That like, but they were like, you know, they'd do photo shoots together or whatever. They were they were sort of friendly. Like, they'd, yeah. they'd hang out. Like, we'd see them out downtown, and like, I'd hang out with her. Not so much with. I think it was already sort of over there. But like, she was really afraid of him, and it. Sean Combs, better known as Diddy, a titan in the music industry, has been celebrated for his monumental impact on hip-hop and pop culture. However, his career is marred by a series of allegations and legal battles that cast a long shadow over his achievements. In 1992, Diddy was involved as one of the promoters of a celebrity basketball game held in Harlem, an event that tragically ended in chaos. During the game, a deadly stampede ensued, leading to the loss of several lives and leaving many others injured. Despite the gravity of the incident, Diddy was not charged with any crime related to the stampede. This event, however, cast a shadow over his role as an event promoter, raising questions about the safety measures in place at this event. Seven years later, in 1999, Diddy found himself entangled in another legal controversy. This time, alongside his then-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, the couple was arrested following a shooting incident at a New York City nightclub. In the aftermath of the chaos, Diddy was charged with criminal possession of a weapon and possession of stolen property. The night escalated tensions, leading to a high-profile case that dominated headlines. Jennifer Lopez, caught on the crossfire of the legal end media storm was detained for 14 hours, an ordeal that ended with her release. The case against Diddy progressed to court, where he faced serious charges. However, he was ultimately acquitted of all charges, allowing him to continue his career relatively unscathed. Tried to pay off our word accuser with eight figures. Lawyer claims music mogul hit with assault and abuse allegations by singer Cassie. Okay. Sean Diddy Combs accused of R word and severe physical abuse by ex-girlfriend Cassie. Word? 50 Cent comes for Diddy amid Cassie's lawsuit alleging R word and abuse. In 2015, Diddy faced significant legal challenges when he was accused of assaulting a UCLA football coach with a kettlebell. The incident reportedly occurred at the university's athletic facilities, leading to Diddy's arrest on charges of assault with a deadly weapon. The serious accusation captured widespread media attention, casting a shadow over his reputation. However, the legal proceedings evolved in Diddy's favor, as the charges against him were eventually dropped, allowing him to avoid further legal consequences from the altercation. Two years later, in 2017, Diddy once again found himself entangled in legal difficulties, this time involving allegations of a different nature. His former chef brought forth a lawsuit accusing him of sexual harassment, retaliation, defamation, and other claims. These accusations portrayed a troubling environment behind the scenes, diverging sharply from Diddy's public persona as a successful music mogul and entrepreneur. The legal battle that ensued was fraught with allegations of inappropriate behavior and misconduct. In February 2019, this lawsuit was settled for an undisclosed amount, concluding the legal dispute but leaving unresolved questions about the culture within Diddy's business operations. Anything that you may want to confess tonight before you go in? I keep everything right here. Or right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You angelic all the time. In 2023, the relationship between Diddy and R&B singer Cassie Ventura took a dramatic turn when Ventura filed a lawsuit against Diddy, unveiling a disturbing narrative of alleged sexual assault and sex trafficking. According to Ventura, the ordeal began soon after she met Combs when she was just 19 years old. She detailed in her lawsuit how Combs not only controlled various aspects of her life, but also subjected her to repeated abuse. Ventura's claims are particularly harrowing. She alleged that Combs forced her to engage in sexual acts with other people while he recorded these encounters, the recordings, further asserting his control by occasionally forcing Ventura to watch these videos, including some she believed had been deleted. This alleged behavior paints a stark portrait of abuse and manipulation, leveraging power and influence in deeply inappropriate ways. 
Following the lawsuit filed by Casa Ventura in 2023, the floodgates opened as more women came forward with their own allegations against Diddy, suggesting a long-standing pattern of disturbing behavior. Among those who stepped forward were Joy Dickerson Neal and Liza Gardner, each presenting allegations that date back to the 1990s. These new accusations further compounded the serious nature of the claims against Combs and painted a grim picture of repeated sexual assault, coercion, and violence. Joy Dickerson Neal alleged that Combs drugged and raped her in 1991, a shocking claim that suggests permitted meditated abuse. Similarly, Lisa Gardner recounted an incident from a year earlier where she claimed Combs coerced her into sexual acts and then choked her until she lost consciousness. These allegations are not only deeply troubling on their own, but also indicative of a consistent use of power and manipulation by Combs to exploit and control others. The stories from Dickerson, Neal, and Gardner alongside Ventura's highlight a pattern of behavior that involves the use of drugs to incapacitate victims. The coercion of victims into unwanted sexual encounters and physical violence. These narratives contribute to a broader understanding of the systemic issues within the entertainment industry, where power imbalances can sometimes lead to exploitation and abuse. Behind the, uh, cause he had a house behind his house. Like he had a, a backyard with a, his backyard with a fat ass bitch. And then it had like a miniature little or whatever. And then we, me and Lemmy go upstairs. They tell him that he can't security. He went in like a little, but not, no security. So it's just me and Lemmy. He like, what's up, Diddy? Um, you know, you, you met Krishan. Uh, you uh, gave her kiss cheek. Uh, early, early on party or whatever. Uh, we just gonna follow up. Uh, I'm glad to see Krishan. And he kept Lemmy by his neck. It was like, but do you? Look at the young Justin Bieber, how nervous and how scared he is. Take a look at the video. And you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, Justin! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! In a significant escalation of legal scrutiny, federal agents launched raids on the homes of Sean Combs in LA and Miami as part of a broader sex trafficking investigation implicating the music mogul. These actions marked a critical juncture in the case, emphasizing the gravity with which authorities regard the allegations. During the operations, agents confiscated a variety of electronic devices, including computers, smartphones, and hard drives. These items are typically seized to uncover digital evidence that might shed light on the allegations, revealing pertinent communications and transactions. The collection of these devices suggests that investigators are diligently searching for solid, traceable evidence that could be key in sustaining the accusations against Diddy or clearing his name. The decision to take such decisive actions against a figure as notable as Diddy has resonated throughout the entertainment industry, highlighting a growing emphasis on accountability, even for figures of significant influence. This development not only intensifies legal predicaments facing calm, but also signifies a critical shift in how law enforcement tackles serious allegations against high-profile individuals. Notice, but then maybe they have a tape that we don't, we could, we didn't see because the pictures was a little vague. There was an exotic worker came out and said that was him and not Stevie J. But in order for them to put that in there, they must have clearly thought it was Stevie J or think it's Stevie J. But you got to get this art. Check this out. He knew that this kid admired Stevie J and loved the work Stevie J had done in the industry in the past. This kid looked up to Stevie J. Now, what if Puff told him that that was Stevie J in the tape? I've been working on an album. Um, I took a year off straight working on this album. That album is a love album off the grid by Diddy. Um, and it's Grammy nominated right now as we speak. Um, I should be uh, celebrating, but the truth is I'm not. Taking this album on has required so much time, um, you know, monthly at, at, at a time, 16 hours to 24 hours a day. Uh, sometimes, you know, Diddy will request certain works to be done and tell us don't go to sleep until it's done. And 
And the truth is, we'll be up to date trying to accomplish that. I tried to get my vision straight with them on this album, but the truth is, they're not playing fair. They, they hit me on below the belt on so many situations. The lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs includes explosive new allegations with photographs, and it comes as federal agents are investigating the music mogul. The complaint also connects embattled actor Cuba Gooding Jr. and rapper Young Miami to the alleged wrongdoing, and it comes just days after Diddy's homes in L.A. and Miami will be. We're giving this kingdom to you, and we don't control his publishing. I just saw this episode with three other human beings sitting at our table, and I like this guy so great. We need to have other people. And it's hard to work with him unless we have his help. He's a deep as we wrap up today's intense tea spilling on Diddy, remember, the plot thickens with each development. This isn't just news, it's real life playing out. Keep your eyes peeled and minds sharp as we navigate through the twists and turns of this high stakes investigation. The stakes are high and the drama is real. Stay engaged, stay informed, and buckle up because the ride is far from over.